Hi everyone, here's a quick video on getting an image off of the internet, off Google Images, and bringing it into Gravit, and using something like the pen tool to trace it out in the outline. Well, first off, let's look up an image on Google, which I already have Hawk pulled up, one of my favorite animals. And let's look at one of these images that we want to bring over. Now, there's a couple ways we can do this. One, you can actually copy it directly from here. So uh, let's find, there we go. We want to make sure you have a full shape. You know, we don't want like one of the wings cut off or something like that, or maybe even the tail or, or, or an arm or something like that wing. So I'm going to open up right here. Remember, whenever you're in Google Images, do not, do not just right click and copy from here. This is just a thumbnail. This is not a full size image. You're going to want to click on it first, select it, now have it open up. And now we have the full 1800 by 1350 pixel image right here. Now, the quickest and easiest way is we can just right click on it and copy it from here, copy, bring it over to grab it and control V. Let's just paste it. And there we go. And we can resize it. And now remember, I'm going to with images, you really, well, this one, it resizes it to fit this page. So we uh, depend on the size, we could possibly resize it, but that'll be in another video talking about resolution. Now, another way is if you already have an image, let's say on your Chromebook or your computer, um, it's downloaded. So let's click on this um, second image. And let's say it's already downloaded. I'm going to right click, save as, not copy on this one. I'm going to go save as, and let's say I'm going to, let's try that again. Oh, there we go. Right click, save as, and I'm gonna call it Hawk One, let's say type right here, which I already did, it's already saved to my desktop. And so I'm actually gonna click cancel here, but let's say that's saved already on your Chromebook somewhere in your drive. You can just go to the place image, place image button, and let's go ahead and upload it from there. Let me go to my desktop and click on this image and open it from there. All right, so you could copy and paste it directly over or save it and then upload it. Now, if for this, if you're going to do something like a trace, if we're going to do a, a, a pen tool trace of this image, let me delete this one right here. What I would prefer to do is, what I would like to do is, I'm going to actually lower the opacity. So when you select the image, let's lower the opacity. This kind of dims it down. That way when I'm going to come back, oh, and one other thing, I'm going to dim the image by lowering the opacity. I'm going to come to my layers toolbar and lock it. That way this image does not move around. Now I'm going to Z for zoom, draw in around where I'm going to start. Go to my pen tool, P for pen, and let's get it set up first. To do my trace, I like to um, not have a fill. So on the fill, make sure you hit the trash can to get rid of this white fill. And I prefer a nice bright color, so in the black, I'm going to change it to green. And let's start with like at least a two or a three point, um, two or three point stroke to, do, to go ahead and start our trace. And you can go from there. And let's click and drag. And again, on this wingtip, you would want to hold Alt to break the handlebar, bring it back this direction, and you get the idea. And you could finish tracing this image and get a good, nice outline of this hawk. All right, hope that helps. Have fun.